Hey guys, Cindy Williams here, the Wanderlust CEO. Today we are talking about Facebook hacks in 15 minutes or less. So if you wanna learn what you can do to maximize Facebook in a really quick way, some efficient things you should be doing on Facebook to make sure you're getting maximum reach as a travel professional. And if you wanna hang out, chat, talk travel, talk marketing, keep on watching. That's what we're doing on the show today. All right, guys, don't forget to take a moment, like, subscribe, ring that notification bell over on YouTube. That's where we send you tips, tricks, training, all of the goodies that you can get to help you grow your travel business. We put out new stuff every single week on YouTube. If you're new here, I would love to welcome you to the channel. My name is Cindy Williams. If you're new, I've been in the travel industry almost 30 years. And just like you, I started my journey with having a passion for travel. And I started as a travel agent for one of the biggest travel brands in the world. I now own and operate my own award-winning nationally recognized travel agency, but I'm best known for being the CEO of Careers on Vacation, which helps people just like you learn how to launch, grow, and supersize your travel businesses all over the world. And today, Today we are diving into Facebook hacks. What do you need to know in 15 minutes or less? Give me the down and dirty, the nitty gritty, like Cindy, what do I need to know to get more reach on Facebook? Now I wanna start by saying, being a user on Facebook is not the same as being a business owner on Facebook. You need to approach it a little bit differently. So I want to give you some of the top things you should be thinking about if you want to start to resonate or get more reach in Facebook. So the first one is make sure if you haven't already, are you a are you an individual agent or are you a travel agency? If you are a travel agency and you are a registered business, you should have a business page on Facebook. Do you have an official business page? Not just a personal account, not just a, you know, kind of a group floating out there. You want to have an official business page because it really gives your company credibility. It allows people to review your performance. It allows you to put things on there like your business hours, links to where they can reach you. Having a business page is really critical. So if you haven't thought about having a business page, make sure you do that. And also I know this is a 15 minute or less video, so I can't get into all the different ways to optimize your business page, but you want to make sure that you are optimizing any social media page as much as, pos as much as possible. Facebook is no exception. So make sure you're taking extra steps. That's everything from the quality of images, making sure you're using engaging posts, making sure as much of that information as possible is filled out to complete your profile and put your business out in the world. It's kind of like in the 80s and 90s, we had phone books. This is like your business listing on Facebook, right? So approach it as such. The second thing I wanna make sure that you are doing on Facebook, in addition to having a business page, is you should really think about hosting a travel-themed group. What is your niche? What are you passionate about? The reason you wanna have a group on Facebook is because it is a different, groups have a different algorithm than a business page does, and you can get more reach with a group than you can with a page. So now you might be asking, well, Cindy, why don't I just do a group? you don't want to just do a group because then you have no business listing. Remember the fundamentals of building the credibility, having a, a place where people can check you out. You still want to have that business listing. And also you want to have the group listed under your business page. So a couple of hacks there to tie those things together on Facebook. And again, this is a 15 minute video, not a three hour long video, but you want to optimize your group and you also want to make sure you're creating some curated content for that group. So what's on your page and on your group, depending on the size of your community, is a little bit different. You're doing some more exclusive things within that group. So think about how can you become a storyteller in that group? How can you be the host with the most in terms of having people in that group, interacting with them, and really keeping that group active and alive? That's the key to having a successful group, something we train in our longer masterminds to our students and how to kind of create that environment where people are going to convert a lot faster. But at a minimum for this 15-minute hack video, I want you to think about having a Facebook 
Facebook group. The next thing that I want you to be thinking about is using elevated content. Nothing is worse than you doing all of the work to set up a business page, set up a beautiful group, and then it just falls flat or you don't do anything with it. Make sure you're using a site like Wanderlust Social to source some amazing creatives and some of those unique things that not every travel agent is out there using. Wanderlust Social is a really cool site because you have the opportunity to not just get custom images, but they have done for you captions. So it makes it really easy to keep your page full, keep your group full. But also what I really love about Wanderlust Social is some of those more unique things like packing lists, top 10 things to do in a destination, blog posts, postcards, different things that you can use and leverage in that Facebook format to really make your page pop and look amazing. So definitely check that out too. You can go to wanderlustsocial.com. I'll drop that link below for sure. Because you want your stuff to look amazing. Remember, people are going to people are going to interact with your brand way before they actually talk to you on the phone or before they click that button to make an initial connection. So you have to make sure your stuff looks good. And that's my last tip. Make sure from your business page to your group, to the things that you're posting, whether you're using Wanderlust Social or not, in that triangle of activities, right? Create your page, create your group, create your actual content that is gonna go in all of those places. Make sure there is continuity in your branding from place to place. When they go to your page and then your group and in the content that they're getting on a regular basis, pushed out to those places, you wanna make sure that it has a similar look and feel and also that it's delivering to you the ideal clients that you want. So guys, this is, I promise 15 minutes or less, this is a really quick video on all of those things that you should be thinking about for Facebook. And by the way, if you are really looking to grow and supersize your travel business this year, this is the kind of stuff we train on at a much deeper level in our careers on Vacation Mastermind. That is our 12 week program where we actually help you, not just with Facebook, but with all the different marketing methods that are out there to, and to learn how to grow, scale, and supersize your travel business and really show up in a powerful way with your marketing, with your business, and how you are running your travel business. The only way you can do that in a successful way is if you're working with an amazing team, so you don't just get access to me, but you get access to the same team that has gotten my business to multiple seven figures and beyond, and definitely go over and check out our case studies. We have more case studies than any educational consulting program in the industry because of the results that we deliver to our clients, and yes, we are asking to affiliated as well. So definitely check that out if you're really serious about getting to the next level with your travel business this year. I hope this video was so helpful for you. Wherever you are in your journey, I wish you so much love, so much abundance. I wish you the world. I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys. Oh.